Good day. Today's date is September 29th, 2024. Let's dive into the latest in aesthetic medicine. Acetyl hexapeptide 8, commonly known as arguraline, is making waves as a popular anti-aging ingredient in cosmeceuticals. Developed by Lipotech and now under Lubrizol, arguraline has been dubbed the topical Botox due to its supposed Botox-like effects on wrinkles. But is it really that effective? To understand arguraline, we need to look at Botox first. Botox works by inhibiting acetylcholine release at the neuromuscular junction, preventing muscle contraction, and thus smoothing out expression lines. Arguralin mimics this mechanism by disrupting the snare complex, essential for neurotransmitter release, albeit through topical application. Research has shown some promising results. A 2002 study by Blaines et al. observed a 30% reduction in wrinkle depth when arguralin was applied to volunteer skin over 30 days. However, this study had limitations, primarily focusing on static rather than dynamic wrinkles. Another study conducted by Wang et al. in 2013 reported a nearly 49% improvement in wrinkle appearance among subjects, though it also faced scrutiny for its methodology. One key issue with arguralin is its ability to penetrate the skin. Studies, such as those by Kraling et al., revealed that only a minuscule amount of argyrelin could penetrate the skin, suggesting its effects might be more due to hydration improvements rather than true muscle relaxation. Despite its growing popularity and the allure of a non-injectable alternative to Botox, the evidence supporting argyrelin's efficacy remains inconclusive particularly for dynamic wrinkles. So while it's a fascinating ingredient, its impact versus the traditional Botox might not be as profound as some claims suggest.